All right, Google has just dropped Gemini 3. And honestly, this might be the first time in two years that OpenAI should actually be worried. This update is everywhere. It's in Search, it's in Gmail, it's in Android, it's in Chrome, and it's in the Gemini app. Google literally pushed this thing into billions of devices overnight. And people are already calling it the biggest jump in AI since GPT-4. So today, I'm going to be breaking down exactly what Gemini 3 is and what it can actually do, why everyone's suddenly talking about it, and most importantly, what does this mean for creators, entrepreneurs, and anyone trying to stay ahead of the curve with AI. But just quickly, before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below. I release two videos a week to help you build an income online. So first off, what actually is Gemini 3? Well, basically, this is Google's new flagship AI model. This is their most intelligent model ever, according to them. And unlike previous versions, this one finally feels like it lives up to the hype. Gemini 3 isn't just a chatbot update. It's a full multimodal system, meaning it can understand text, images, audio, video, and code all at the same time. And Google didn't just release the model, they tied it directly into Google Search. So suddenly, your everyday searches now have this AI brain behind them. This is Google finally playing the game properly. Not a separate app that nobody uses, but an AI baked into web search. Documents, Gmail, Android, and everything. This is a big one. Now, what actually sets Gemini 3 apart? Well, the biggest thing that people are noticing is how it handles context. You can feed it a screenshot, a note, a graph, a video, and question all at once. And it actually understands the relationship between them. It doesn't treat everything like separate inputs. It combines them all into one chain of reasoning. That means you can do things like, here's my YouTube retention graph, Here's my thumbnail, and here's my script. Here's my title. Tell me what's wrong with this video, and how do I fix it? And it gives you a targeted analysis that actually makes sense. Another big improvement is coding. Google also upgraded their Code Assist tool with Gemini 3, and it's easily the closest thing yet to a real AI developer. You're not just asking it for code snippets, you're asking it to read your entire project, fix bugs, restructure functions, update components, or even generate documentation all for you. This is a proper do-it-for-me automation, not autocomplete. But the part that's getting the tech community really excited is Google's new agentic direction. Gemini 3 can take multi-step tasks and actually break them down and execute them intelligently. Not perfectly, it's still early, but you can feel where it's heading. We're moving towards personal AI workers, not just assistants. Now let's talk about the part that matters the most to us. What does Gemini 3 actually do for creators, YouTubers, and digital entrepreneurs? Well, it does quite a lot, actually. One of the coolest things is it's understanding of visuals. So imagine you show Gemini 3 your thumbnail, your analytics screenshots, and your video title, and you simply ask, why isn't this video performing? And instead of giving you some generic, like maybe change the colors, it'll break down exactly what emotion the thumbnail communicates, how the composition compares to trending videos in your niche, whether your text is too small for mobile viewers, whether your pacing matches your retention curve, and then it'll tell you what to fix first. For people who aren't designers or marketers, this is a massive boost. The research side is also insane because Gemini is now built into Google search. You can ask it, give me five of the most important facts about this topic, summarize them, and verify each one with reputable sources. It's like someone condensed your entire research process into one message. No more opening 15 tabs and cross-checking everything manually. And finally, Gemini 3 is actually opening up a whole new wave of content opportunities. Whenever a big AI model drops, people want tutorials, they want comparisons, they want Gemini versus ChatGPT, how to use Gemini search, Gemini for business, Gemini coding tricks. And the creators who jump on these topics early always get a ton of attention. So if you make videos about AI, productivity, or online business, or even tech, 
then this is a gold mine moment for you. Okay, this is the question that everyone always wants the answer to right away. Is Gemini 3 a ChatGPT killer? No, no it's not, at least not yet anyway. Gemini 3 is a huge improvement. It's incredibly strong at multimodal tasks. It's extremely good at understanding complex inputs and Google's integration advantage is massive. But ChatGPT still has the ecosystem, it has the plugins, it has the GPT store, the creator adoption and the brand dominance. And until Google builds a comparable marketplace or tool ecosystem, then GPT still has the upper hand in terms of flexibility and community. That said, Gemini 3 finally puts Google in the ring properly. It's the first time that they've released a model where people are genuinely saying, yeah, this is legit, this is competitive. And the best part is competition pushes innovation. When Google steps up, OpenAI has to step up even more, and vice versa. That means we all win. The good news is you don't have to wait months for access to this. Gemini 3 is available right now in three main places. The first is the Gemini app. If you have it, update it and you should already have the new model. The second is Google Search. There's now a little toggle at the top which lets you switch into AI mode, which is powered by Gemini 3. And third, the Gemini API, which developers can plug straight into their tools, their website, their Chrome extensions, whatever they're building. This rollout is way faster than anything Google has ever done before. They clearly want people using this immediately. So that's Gemini 3, what it is, what it can do, and why everyone's suddenly obsessed with it, and how you can start using it today. So if you want me to do a full side-by-side -side battle between Gemini 3 and ChatGPT, like performance tests, speed tests, coding tests, multimodal tests, then let me know in the comments and I'll make it happen. And if you want more breakdowns like this, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're covering everything happening in AI, business, and the future of online income. And trust me, the next six months are going to be wild. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.